Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this lovely, lovely stitch corner to corner blanket. And um, if you have been following me, I've been uh, showing you how to knit this uh, particularly how to start this blanket from here. And I will put the link below. For this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to set these up because I already did three, four, four tutorials on how to knit it up and how to decrease and finish the blanket. So I'm not going to go over it. I, I will put the link below. It's the same technique. So let's get started. The yarn that I'm using, I ordered this from uh, uh, Turkey from Svetlana. She sells the yarn from uh, on her Instagram. And um, she sells them like uh, in grams, like there's no labels, but I know what yarn these are. These are baby acrylic yarn. So what I did is I tried to uh, make a four ply. So I did two strands to create and then I've been knitting. So I still have a lot of yarn in here. So you need about, I would say, two pounds of yarn. To knit up a baby blanket and depend it depends on how long you want it and how wide as uh, this is going to be a square so i'm planning to go with uh one meter so it's about 40 inches wide and 40 inches long i don't want to make it bigger than that okay so this is what i started with but today for today's tutorial i am going to grab this yarn that i have purchased in the last month or so this arrived from turkey again it's made in turkey they just changed the label uh so uh it's uh it's a four weight yarn it's made in turkey as you can see so it's telling me this is the gram zero zero uh the color is zero 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 eight three if you know this particular brand you can go and buy it from them but other than that, I purchased this from uh, Turk. It's Nako Edit yarn, and it's super soft. I did uh, several blankets with this yarn, and it's very nice because it says, I think this is the word that we're looking for, drelin, that makes it low pilling acrylic, so it doesn't pill and uh, lasts forever. <laughs> and you need a four millimeter knitting needle or a crochet hook if you're crocheting so again a four weight and uh, i'm just comparing to this yarn that i have knit with so uh this is going to be way softer because it's going to be thin and i'm not going to double ply because i only have 10 balls of this yarn i don't have many and i'm planning to make a baby cardigan with it so i'm going to pull out the yarn and cast on total of five stitches to start because we're going to be knitting both sides and then we'll go from there okay this is the before i start i just wanted to show you i bought these a decade ago and i have never used this so it's a four millimeter circular knitting needle and it's an addy and uh because i bought so many i never had a chance to start with this but i don't have a four I only have a long one and this is a long one too it's a 40 inch so uh, i was looking for short to start with and i changed my uh, needles um yeah so so i paid 13.95 american dollars it's not canadian didn't buy it from canada because they didn't have it here in canada then i believe 2007 i can't even remember so this was a long time ago I purchased this okay so I will cast on total of uh, five stitches and I'll be right back to start and then uh, well and then what you need to do is knit five ridges if you can do that that would be better so I will come back I will uh, after knitting the five ridges it's the same method I am going to put the tutorial again because I already did four videos about it same way how to start uh, I really liked how this turned out as on my previous tutorial I was mentioning you don't have to knit brioche corner to corner you can uh, 
you can knit any stitch that you want so uh, yeah and I created this two four five just knit back and forth back and forth and I'll be right back okay I just wanted to show you it's very thin compared to this if you look at it so uh, I'm going to do two ply unfortunately because uh, it says it's a four weight but when you when you're knitting it it turns into this is not even a three I would say a two maybe a light three so um, yeah don't trust the label so what I'm going to do is just gonna do two ply two ply like two strands of yarn you grab one uh, strand from this and one strand from that and then you start knitting it's uh better this way because uh it's going to be very thin and I don't want a very thin like you know baby blanket so just to point out so I will move this from uh, four uh from four to uh five millimeter knitting needle I'll be right back okay yeah this is way better because <laughs> it's going to be a baby blanket right we needed a little bit of a uh, secure <laughs> and when you look at it see it's perfect yeah so I have knit uh, this is the uh, right side of the work two four five and I have knit five here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up stitches and to pick up stitches, I need to pick up a total of uh, five stitches. Okay, I'm knitting pearl-wise. I'm sorry, I'm used to this way. So Turkish, uh, I have my Turkish style. I knit it on my neck. I, the yarn is over my neck. And uh, yeah, I knit faster this way. <laughs> Three, four, two, four, and then five. I'm going to move this because uh, the camera is picking up the blanket. See, it's way better now for some reason. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to knit these uh, five stitches. Two, four, five. Okay, just like this. we need to give this a uh, pearl effect so uh, you can knit two sides or you can knit like pearl way two four five and and then we put a yarn over that is to uh separate the edge and then we knit these five stitches okay and then we turn our work and we do the we do a repeat okay i am showing it again how to start very easy it's really fun two three four and then five stitches and then we knit them just like this two four oh i think i did less i didn't do five oh my goodness have to do five to okay, count them again two four five here the yarn over three four five well we did two let me repeat this is one of the stitch missing oh yeah one of the i did it wrong okay, i'll fix it and i'll be right back Okay, so I'm going to be knitting a couple of rows. Here it is. So two, four ridges. We're going to be knitting two, four ridges, and then we're going to start this stitch. I do have a tutorial on how to knit this stitch. This is how it looks like from the front. And this is how it looks like from the back. It gives you this nice 3D look. So I would highly recommend uh, you to go into that tutorial. I will put the link below. I, kn I knitted a sweater for my son. You can make baby blankets, cardigan sweaters, 
using this stitch it's very easy and we will start this and it's uh, done on seven stitches okay so i will knit so i have started this one already just to show you so this is how it looks like and i already got a knot <laughs> what can you do right okay and uh, what i did is i did a yarn over and i knit five stitches and i picked up stitches so I'm going to knit five and I'm going to do a yarn over. So always make a yarn over and then uh, continue on. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have knit total of four ridges right here when you look at it. So I would say four a yarn over if you count those. And this is the right side of the world I always get confused with this this is the wrong side. <laughs> so we're going to be starting the stitch on when the tail is on our uh, right side okay so we're just gonna knit just gonna knit so I just put my marker just to point that it's in the middle five stitches right so I picked the three so I need to put Three here and three here and seven and start the stitch just to, just to mark where I need to uh, start my stitch so I'm going to be knitting this is how I do my uh, purl super easy and it goes fast okay and then I do a yarn over because I need to put in a yarn over this is already knit and then I come here okay so this is three so I need three stitches. So I'm going to knit one more. Okay, so I'm going to start the, st uh, the pattern. Again, I'm going to put the pattern uh, on the description below the video. So you can go and check it. So what I need to do is I need to knit seven stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven. Like this. And then I just continue knitting just like this. I knitted the yarn over. I need to, and then when I come back, I will do a yarn over. Okay. And always count two, four, five. Two, four, five. I was supposed to uh, bind off two, four, five here as well, and I forgot. It happens, nothing to worry about. So uh, I, I showed this on the previous uh, tutorial as well. You can bind off like this as well. Let's say you, you knitted too many rows, and what you do is you get, get rid of that one row. And then what you do is you pull it like this over. And then you get rid of this stitch because we need five ridges. Three, so we need three sti sti uh, stitches. We bind off, and then when we come back, we pick up stitches. It gives you this nice edge look. When you look at the blanket, it gives you this nice edge. And that shows the blanket a lot, that edge. Okay, so I got rid of the uh, three stitches. So I'm going to knit the remaining. And when I turn back, I'm going to pick up stitches. Again, uh, how I showed you at the beginning. So this is how you pick up stitches. This is the best way. And one more. Always count. You need to have five stitches. Two, four, five. And then you just knit these. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I need to do a yarn over here. And then I knit this row. So I have knit this. I am going to start the pattern here. So I did one row of the knit stitch and here I'm going to start the pattern okay and seven stitches don't forget that 
So the first stitch is a purl stitch. Get the next stitch, second stitch is, this is how we knit it, so grab it from here in the middle and then knit like a knit stitch. Third stitch is a purl. Four stitches like a knit, but you grab it in the middle here below. Knit purl stitch and then knit stitch as if to knit but you go you don't grab it from here you grab it below okay and then just to be on the safe side look at the front and it give you this nice uh, uh 3d look at the front and then uh the seventh stitch is the purl stitch and then we just purl all the way to the end just like this Okay, yarn over, knit the yarn over. My, you can see my stitch is twisted, so I need to fix it when I'm knitting, or else if I don't fix it, then uh, the knit stitch wouldn't look nice. Okay, so I knit, and now I'm going to pick up stitches, like I did at the other side. And this is how it looks like. So I am going to be purling the front, uh, knitting the front, and then purling the remaining. So seven stitches are going to be knit. And then when we come to the back, it's going to be uh, purl for three rows. So we're going to repeat it, th repeat this three rows. And I will come back to show you how to repeat this because we need to do this method total of four times. Right here, one two three four you have to repeat it four times and then go from there and then on the back we need to purl three rows and on the fourth we we do this exactly thing this method that i just showed you so four times we repeat that and then it gives you this nice gorgeous uh stitch see how it looks gorgeous gorgeous okay so i'll be right back Okay, when I said th three rows, I meant is knit front, purl back, knit front. <laughs> and then it would look like this. And on here, you would see three rows of the purl. So we're going to start the stitch again, the purl, uh, the pattern again, to create that lovely effect. And don't forget, always do your yarn over because we're increasing, right? It's going to be a blanket and increasing here as well. So the first uh, seven stitches we work with, so first one is purl. Knit is not like this. We go one row below, and then we, pur uh, we purl. Again, one row below, purl, one row below, and then purl the last one. So when you turn your work, on the back, it gives it this different effect, and on the front, it gives you a different effect. I'm just going to move this because uh, you got the drill, right? <laughs> and this is how it looks like. See? It gives you this lovely effect. So I'm just going to continue knitting. So I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to repeat this two more times, and I will come back to show you how to do the lace the lace that we start from here and then we do this again four times we do the lace and then we repeat now we we put one here and then one here while we're knitting you have this height and then it's repeat one after another so i will come back to show you how to make these lace but continue doing the edges as we go okay i'll be right back Okay, I just wanted to show you. So I just did the third one. As you can see, one, two, three. And here it is. So I just wanted to show you how to get rid of the three stitches. Because we have knit two, four. And then when we get rid of the... Actually, it's five rows. But when you look at it, you just see the ridges. So what we do is we just get rid of 
three stitches and then when we come back we pick up the stitches so I knit and I put it back okay and then I have two stitches and I just continue knitting I just wanted to show you and don't forget your yarn over and then continue knitting and uh, on the seven stitches we do knit stitch and on the back we do purl okay so I will finish and I will be back and I repeat the same I already did this one here so I'm going to be picking up stitches and it is over and over and uh, this is how it looks like okay so I'm at the wrong side and I, I did my three pearls as you can see so I'm gonna finish this finish it up doing my fourth uh, pattern here doesn't this look nice oh my goodness I ordered more yarn from Svetlana, pink color, beautiful red. <laughs> so the first stitch is a pearl. The next one I go between, I go right in this hole. I don't grab it from here. I do a knit stitch and I do this pearl, knit one below. This is the trick that gives that nice effect. Pearl knit and then the last stitch is a pearl so i continue knitting so i am done now we're going to start the lace stitch and uh going to knit all the way to the end and because of the yarn over you will have more stitches here okay yarn over and i will come back and show you how to do the lace Okay, so I have knit, I have knit, so I'm right here where we start the pattern, the, the stitch. Um, in Turkish, this is called sıçandişi, it means uh, mice teeth, beaver teeth, I think I called it beaver teeth. I don't know what's it called in English, but it gives you this nice lovely effect. So, before I start the stitch, those the, the seven stitches, right here, I, I need to get rid of these two stitches. So, I'm going to knit them two together. And then I'm going to do a yarn over, just like this. And I'm just going to do purl. Purl stitches. And I also said you can knit two sides to give this a purl effect. But I love... To knit it like this i don't have to put my put the yarn uh, on my finger i just use it on my over my neck and uh it gives a i control the yarn that way okay so i do a yarn over when i knit after knitting the seven stitches and i get rid of the uh, we need to knit two, uh, oh, two two together to get rid of the the yarn over that we create a stitch that's the reason we do that other than that, the remaining are same, and we do a yarn over. We do a yarn over always on these edges to separate the blanket. So I'm going to be knitting like this for about four, four times. I'm going to be knitting, making yarn over, and then knit two together. And on the wrong side, it's just purl. That's all we do, nothing different. Just show you the blanket. This is the wrong side. So we only do purl, nothing else different. And then when you come to the right side, you do the yarn over and knit two together. So we do this one, two, three, four, four rows later. We come and then we start the we start over again. We make the same stitch over again and repeat after another. So we put it on here, one this pattern, and we put one here. Doesn't this look fantastic? I think it looks great. I would love to hear from you. Okay, so I will be back. I will knit four rows and I will be right back. Well, four uh, yarn over. So one, two, three, four. And then how many rows do we knit? Two, four. Yeah, it is four actually. Four ridges we knit. And then we start all over again. Okay, before I come back, I wanted to show you. Okay, here, as you can see, 
here's the yarn over so I need to get rid of the two stitches before the yarn over here so I get rid of it and then I make a yarn over again on the wrong side I just did pearls that's all I did so this is uh, the right side and I get I got rid of the yarn over so when I go back I do the pearl and when I come back I pick up the two stitch I knit these two stitches together and I make a yarn over until you have total of four I just wanted to show and uh, clarify that you need to do you need to knit the two stitches before the yarn over and it gives you this ladder this lacy look so I will, I will be right back I'll meet you here when we start the pattern again again I'm back again so when we come here on the other side we we do the same thing so I knit the yarn over that we have knit so I do a yarn over and then I knit these two stitches together so don't get confused if especially for new beginners I get a lot of good comments questions from them so that's how we do the ladder okay I'll be right back this is how it looks like so I finished and I'm on the right side again I did my pearl and I finished so now we're going to start these uh, seven stitches okay let me just move this so I am going to be knitting pearl wise or if you're knitting knit wise both sides that's okay okay just want to show point out that this is very very soft and uh, squishy <laughs> just love it so I did my decrease don't forget to do your decreases every five rows that's that uh, that a uh, must must do we have to do that every five rows again this is how I do it and always go back and count Sometimes you'll have six stitches. Sometimes you will have four. Four it has to be five. Four, five, five. I go back and count again. And then when I come back and I see, oh, it's five, six stitches. Or sometimes four stitches. It has to be five. Okay. So I did my five. And don't forget your yarn over when it's, uh, when it's time to do your yarn over. Okay, so we, we come right here where the yarn over is and we count two, four, six, seven. So I need to knit three more stitches. And then what I do is, well, purl three more stitches. And then what I do is two, four, let me count again, two, four, six, seven. Okay, seven stitches I'm going to be knitting. Knitting like this. just like this and then I purl all the way here and I repeat what I did right here and I'll meet you right here okay so I am here this is where I'm going to be knitting seven stitches two three four five six seven and the remaining I do my knit uh, pearl stitches so I will come back and I will show you again how to do create the stitch because we need to do it at the first uh, second row here to look to give this uh, look and other than that in between we knit three rows and on the fourth we make the stitch okay so I will come back and show you the other side okay so I'm at the other side the first stitch we do a purl the second stitch we do a knit but we go between here right here and then we grab it and we release the remaining and then the next one is a purl again knit purl knit purl and we're done when we turn our work this is how it looks like it gives you this nice effect here gives you this nice effect so uh what you need to do is knit what what, what we did here we repeat this 
over and over. I'm not going to go over because it's just to repeat what I just showed you. It's very simple, very easy. And uh, just rewind the video and then you will see how it's done. It's so easy. You just follow step by step. And then don't forget your yarn overs because uh, you need to do your increase. And when you do your yarn over, don't forget to get rid of the stitches because we don't want to increase here. We want to increase on the edges so the blanket will get bigger and bigger. And then you continue knitting the lengths that you want. Let me just put this aside. <laughs> uh, I am not planning to knit too big because uh, one of my blankets turned out huge. Uh, when I put it on my queen size bed, it's covering, so I don't want this to be big. So I'm planning to make this about a 90 centimeter, one meter, or a 42 inches. So this is how you measure it, all the way here. Let's say you're done. You ha you have the measurements that you want. What you do is, you come here, okay, right here. And then you start your doing your decrease. Again, I will put the tutorial because I'm not going to go over it. I already did the four videos, three videos about it. So it's just a repeat. So uh, what you do is you knit your one, two, three, as I showed you. On the third, when you finish it, you come here and you start your decrease. And the decrease are every row. What you do is you knit two together. But don't forget you still have to do your yarn over when you're turning. Okay, here's one of the blankets that I have knit. This is the brioche corner to corner blanket. I haven't figured out what to name this one yet. The one I'm just doing. Just uh, figure it out. You have to, we have to put a title, right? So this is... Uh, I knitted half, six rows, and then I started to do my decrease. And the decrease are, see, we continue doing our yarn over when we, we went, the row that we have to do. But on uh, every row, we pick, uh, we knit two stitches on both sides. We knit two together. So we create this corner. It goes, see what, what I'm trying to say? That's how we do our decrease. And then it, be, it becomes a square. This becomes a square. So I wanted to show you that. And you do the same thing. It's the same technique. Here, again, you knit one, two, three. And when you finish the third, when you finish the third, what you do is you start to do your decrease. The length that you want. I'm, I'm still going to knit mine, but uh, when I come to the length... Just be cautious. You need to start it when you finish your third. Because it, it's like a half. And then you do uh, one more. And then while you're doing it, you're uh, knitting two stitches together. But you're doing the yarn over. I'm repeating this over and over. It's the same method that uh, I will put the link below. So this is all to it. <laughs> I hope you like this tutorial. I just wanted to share yeah, this lovely stitch. See, when I'm uh, making something, when I'm knitting something, uh, these stitches, these patterns just pop up. So sometimes I draw, like for the Valentine's heart uh, blanket that I did, I just draw the graphic and I made it. And I have another uh, pattern coming in my head, but I haven't figured it out yet. So that will take me a week or two. So as soon as that comes out, I will uh, do a tutorial for that. But for right now, I just need to uh, finish these blankets and then go from there. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any comments, please write them below. But I tried to explain as step by step how to do it. And I have, uh, I will put the link below how to finish the uh, blanket. But it's the same method. It's super easy. And again, this yarn is from Svetlana. It's pretty nice. I really love the texture. It's really good quality. So I would highly recommend you to go to and check her shop. And uh, I will put the link below. She does ship uh, worldwide. But 99% uh, of her customers are from Turkey. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. 
Share it with your family and friends. Happy knitting. Stay home. Stay safe. Take care. I'm going to put my uh, leather. Uh, let me find it. I'm going to put my leather tag and my logo. You fair is my logo. Everyone's going to say, what does it mean? You is my husband's uh, first initial. <laughs> and F-E-R is my first uh, three initial. When he uh, started his uh, company here, you know, you go to the registry office and you try, they ask you a company name, right? So uh, he's, he put this name, you fair. He's so smart with these stuff. And I'm looking at him. Wow, I said, going to put it here because I don't want to shut the lovely uh, pattern there, right? So, uh, and then, uh, yes, yeah, so, and when I opened my Etsy shop in 2009, I used the same logo because my husband helps me a lot with my yarn. Okay, doesn't this look nice? Take care, everybody. <laughs>